Greetings nation, Cruiser here. I just wanted to let you guys know that there will be a unboxing video about the vinyl release of the Static X album Project Regeneration Volume 1. I recorded it, I just need to edit the videos, and while I was tending to that, I noticed this review came up from Loudwire talking pretty favorable about the album, and not to mention how well it's doing on all these musical streaming platforms. And I was trying to think, why is this album doing so good? I mean, Lord knows I certainly like the album, but still, it's pretty weird when the metal community as a whole agrees on something like this. So I was really thinking about it, and I think I realized why so many people love this album. I think it was something that we needed. Nobody liked the way Static X ended. They didn't get to go on a masterpiece like Porcupine Tree did with the incident. They didn't get a farewell tour where everybody was on good terms and the band was saying goodbye and loved the fans with all their heart. It just ended because Wayne died. And I think we could all tell that there was, you know, this uncomfortable vibe in the air between the band and Wayne. Like something didn't feel right. I started to notice it when they released Cult of Static because frankly, for me, that album was my least favorite. I didn't really like it all that much. Like it felt like, okay, something sounds like there's meddling with Static X here. Then the band goes on hiatus. Wayne releases his album Pig Hammer, which that album sounded horrible. I'm sorry. I mean, it didn't, even, it didn't sound like Static X. It sounded like Diet Static. Yeah, not Diet Static X, just Diet Static. You know, listening to that album, I could tell there were three elements that were missing from it. And then Wayne tries to tour under the Static X name, which Tony gave him permission to do, but with a different lineup. And, like, not even halfway through the tour, Wayne gets arrested for a drug bust. And the tour, and he's, they're pulled from the tour. And then Wayne dies. And nothing got resolved. Not for the fans, not with the band. And frankly, the band wasn't even allowed at his funeral. His wife banned them. So for years, we've had this unrest. Nobody got to say goodbye, literally or figuratively. And then fast forward to just recently, Tony gets all these you know unfinished demos and musical compositions and vocal performances from Wayne. And he has this brilliant idea. And frankly... Everybody liked it because when we all paid for those uh, pre-orders and merchandise bundles, that paid you know, for this album to be finished. That paid for this tour, uh, the, the 20th anniversary tour of Wisconsin Death Trip. And people started really getting behind this. And I'll never forget seeing the tour and just you know having Zero, their touring vocalist, saying, I am not here to replace Wayne. I am just here to honor my friend and your hero. And then listening to the album, I realized, oh my God, like this sounds familiar. Like this sounds like Static X. This sounds like what I remembered. So, was there a little bit of nostalgia? Probably, but I think the main reason why we loved it so much is that it was a proper send off to Wayne. Like I said, I mean, we didn't get to say goodbye to the guy. Uh, the band certainly didn't. And the fact that Wayne's family was so approving of this, I think is what kind of sealed it as, for one, not being a cash grab, but two, just giving Wayne the send-off he deserves. Now, should the band continue without Wayne and with uh, this character Zero? Honestly, I'm open to it. I want to hear some songs where it's just Zero doing vocals. And then I can be able to make a better decision from there. But for right now, I am just loving Project Regeneration Volume 1. Because we got to say goodbye to Wayne. He got to go out on something good. And because his family approves, I believe Wayne would too. And hey, we still have a second volume to look forward to. So you guys keep spinning that record. You guys keep streaming those songs. And I'll work on this video. And until then, this is the Concert Cruiser saying, We miss you, Wayne. Take care.